Denise Marley from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for September 2021. On Monday, September 27th, we have our very last cosmic event for the month. And some may say that we save the very best for last. We have Mercury, the planet of communication, of information, going retrograde, joining all of the major heavy hitting planets already in a retrograde. So many of you might be saying, hmm, Mercury retrogrades, they're not so fun. Why would you say you're saving the best for last? Well, Mercury retrogrades get a bad rap. People think that chaos happens and X comes back out of the woodwork and, you know, we have the past just unearthing itself once again, which, you know, is not pleasant. But here's the thing. Mercury retrogrades are the most positive times for us because it gives us a break. It slows us down. We get to rethink. We get to re-strategize, recalculate, re-evaluate, and we get to revisit a lot of the things that we thought we were done with just to prove to ourselves that we actually learned something, that we did grow, that we were able to overcome certain challenges and certain obstacles. Now, Mercury, of course, the ruler of the mental plane, the ruler of the lower intellect, the egoic intellect, really back in the mythology of it all was known as the trickster. He was the messenger of the gods. He was the only entity that was able to kind of commute from the higher realms where the gods reside down to this earthly realm to pass on the messages from the gods to the humans. But Mercury kind of got his self in a little bit of trouble because he started, you know, toying with the words, manipulating the information just a tad and really kind of tricking people into something that they thought was coming from the gods, coming from the higher realms that turned out later to not be true. So Mercury, where he does rule over information, we might not be getting the best information and a retrograde gives us an opportunity to revisit some of the information that we thought was truth and actually see that it was lies, that it was deception, where a new truth is being uncovered and re-emerging. Mercury rules over our thinking, how it is that we're seeing information, how it is that we're bringing it into our mental plane, and how it is that we're processing that. This is a great time for us to, again, revisit some of our thoughts, our ideas, re-strategize our plans, revise, re-edit where it is that we're trying to actually make things happen. And also, it rules over expression. It rules over communication, how it is that we're actually able to take our thoughts, take our ideas, our new realizations, and speak it outside of ourselves, communicate it outside of ourselves. So we might have to review a lot of the things that we thought we were done with. A lot of emotions, a lot of thoughts that we thought we had resolved. Things come up, resurface, if you will. Retrogrades are notorious for all of those re-words. The things that resurface are meant to resurface in order for us to see If from a different light to see if we have a different perception of it, if we feel the same way about it, if it changes our perspective in moving forward. So Mercury retrogrades are actually a beautiful, positive time to revisit our growth, revisit some life lessons, some life chapters, review all that has happened, recalculate, re-strategize our plans in moving forward. But a lot of chaos does ensue while Mercury is retrograde. This is the last retrograde that Mercury will do in 2021. And very interestingly enough, all the Mercury retrogrades in 2021 were in air signs. And air signs rule over the intellect, rule over information, rule over communication, rule over our perspectives. And because we're in the second year of the Great Awakening, because we are watching this absolute shit show take place on the global grander collective of misinformation, you best believe that this one 
is going to tie everything all together. This one, because it's in Libra, who wants to fight for fairness, fight for justice, balance the scales, see both sides of the coin, debate the pros and cons of every single thing in order for us to reach a compromise, you best believe that this Mercury retrograde in Libra is going to unearth a lot of lies that we thought were truth, a lot of new truth that will be argued as lies, creating confusion as if we don't have enough confusion already, right? So the good thing about this is that by the time Mercury actually goes direct, which is going to be in October, and again, we are about to move into October, can't wait to bring you the energy forecast because it's going to be an amazing month. By the time Mercury actually goes direct, you absolutely will have a totally different perspective once we go ahead and get the green light to move forward. It will essentially break down the old ways of thinking, your old thoughts, your old ideas, your old perspectives, your old plans. It will rework information, new realizations, new details in a brand new way that will set you on a course that might feel like a detour at the beginning, might feel like a setback at the beginning, but will fast forward you to the end vision, the end goal in a much faster way, an easier way, in a more opportuni opportunistic and abundant way. So we do have to kind of go through the little bit of dysfunction in order to actually reach a lot of clarity. But typically speaking, what we want to stay away from is the fact that we really don't want to start anything new. We definitely don't want to be purchasing big ticket items like technology, computers, TVs, cars, uh, anything with working parts. You kind of want to avoid that during Mercury's retrograde. Now, that being said, Mercury retrogrades are notorious for all of those items malfunctioning, breaking, having the wonkiest things happen with electricity, with, you know, communication, with uh, mechanical parts seizing, you know, washers and dryers breaking, um, all kinds of weird stuff takes place. So obviously, if something breaks and you have to replace it, you are going to have to make that purchase. But you have to be very cautiously aware of the paperwork that comes along with that purchase. When we're talking about Libra and energy, we're talking about contracts, especially we're buying, selling, real estate is concerned, um, you know, any kind of contracts where legalities are concerned. This is a time when all of these, you know, legal documents come into the forefront. But of course, that's not what we want to be dealing with while Mercury is retrograde. If at all possible, if you can put off having to sign your name on a dotted line in any kind of circumstance until Mercury goes direct, please do so. If you can't avoid it, please recognize, first of all, that you have to read it three times and then maybe a fourth. You have to understand that we will likely have to revisit some of these topics and themes that you're signing your name to and that there might be a reworking, a renegotiation of these particular elements. So we want to be mindful that if we have to kind of commit to something while Mercury is retrograde, we have to be mindful that it likely could create a little bit of a dysfunction, a little bit of chaos, and we will have to revisit that at a further time in a further circumstance. What we also want to recognize is that especially in a Mercury retrograde, we have exes, we have ex friends, we have people that we haven't thought about in years resurface either in a physical form or in a memory in a dream state. Now, this can be very unpleasant, but again, we have to revisit the past in order to kind of see it from a different set of eyes to see if we were able to pull the silver lining out of that situation, if we actually learned anything about it. And of course, reconcile within us those life lessons and really prove to ourselves that, yeah, we're done with that particular topic and theme. We're done with that person. Now we have a sense of closure, a sense of realization within us. We can go ahead. We can move forward. 
The fact that this is happening in Libra and energy that rules over relationships, you best believe that we will have to reflect back. We will have to look back. We will have to revisit some past pain and past trauma that we thought we had closure on that we did not have enough closure on that we will gain closure on when we give it a second look. So we just have to understand that this is going to be a time for reorganizing, for reflecting, for resting, for rejuvenating, for, you know, revisiting, revising. All of those re words are really loud during a retrograde. And we have to understand that things need to get a little bit cray cray in order for us to find clarity. So we have to understand that this is going to be a heightened time of confusion, a heightened time of chaos, a heightened time of truth, of justice, of reworking, reviewing the past and seeing where it is that we can see these details, these elements from a brand new light. And what this does is it refreshes us in our perspective, in our energy. And this is exactly what we need to reawaken the higher vibrational frequencies that are coming in hot and heavy from the cosmos right now. And some of the light codes that are already within us that need to be reactivated so that we can reach the next level.